How's it going everybody? Raising Hell here and today we are going to be going over five of the fastest ways to go insane and don't starve together. Now there are a couple of things I want to point out beforehand before we actually get into the list. One is that I do not factor in historical time investments in these methods. So for example, if it requires 10 days, let's say, to effectively gain access to a resource that can make you instantly insane, I'll still count that as being instantaneous insanity. The other thing I would like to mention beforehand is for those kind of wondering why would you bother with this video? Why would you want to go insane? I have three valid reasons for why I would want to, aside from simply it being educational and my interest in learning about insanity a little bit more. So for one thing, there are sanity gates throughout the world. Uh, they look a little bit like pylons, and some of them will not allow you to pass through, especially in the atrium, unless your sanity is at a certain level. Either has to be very low or very high. Another reason would be to gather beard hair. This is required for building meat effigies, and you have to be insane to ever gain access to beard hair unless you're Wilson. The third reason you might want to be insane, of course, is the obvious one, and that is to farm nightmare fuel. Uh, nightmare fuel is used for a good many items inside Don't Starve Together and Don't Starve Single Player, Reign of Giants, Shipwreck. Uh, so that is probably the most common reason that you'd want to lower your sanity. So with that out of the way, let's get into the list. Okay, in the first spot here, no downsides really required is going to be the Bone Helm. The second you equip this, you're immediately insane. You really can't get much faster than that. The Bone Helm is an item that drops when you finally defeat the Fuel Weaver in the Atrium, so it is most certainly a much later game item. Most players themselves will never see this item or be able to use it because they simply don't get that far in the game. However, it has some very unique abilities. For one thing, its durability only decreases when you actually take damage and does not wear out over time. This means that providing you don't take any damage, this Bone Helm can last you indefinitely. Uh, the other really interesting thing about it is that when you have it on, it will increase the rate at which shadow creatures spawn, and in addition to that, they will not be aggressive towards you. So for example, right here we have a Crawling Horror, and you'll notice it didn't bother attacking me. But at the same time, it is most certainly possible for you to attack them. As you can see, when I hover over this creature, I'm most certainly capable of attacking it. But until I initiate that attack, they will not attack me. This means that it has some very interesting use case scenarios for it, especially if you're basing down in the runes. As you can see here, we have four shadow creatures. They're all around here. They're all after us, but they're not going to attack us unless we attack first. If we take it off, however, you can see they still exist. And this means that it is a very great way to farm some nightmare fuel because um, while you have it on and there is no durability to it in the sense that you can let it run out while you're wearing it, um, you can certainly farm up a lot of nightmare creatures here for relatively no cost. It does have a low sanity drain of about 12 sanity per minute, uh, but in the grand scheme of things, it is a pretty minimal cost to actually use it. If you want them to disappear, of course, we just let them attack us, and then when they fail, they will just naturally go away. Number two on the list, of course, in terms of relative speed at which you can go insane is going to be the Nightmare Amulet. Uh, when you put the Nightmare Amulet on, you're immediately insane, and much like the Bone Helm, it increases the rate at which uh, shadow creatures spawn. The downside, of course, to the Nightmare Amulet is it does have durability that decreases as you wear it, but the upside to that, of course, is the fact that it requires, it decreases your sanity at a much lower rate while actually using it. You have a sanity drain of about three per minute as opposed to around about 12. The biggest difference between it and the Bone Helm, of course, though, is the fact that Nightmare Creatures are actually aggressive towards you now. So you'll notice that uh, this Nightmare, this uh, Terra Beak is actually trying to attack me, unlike when I had the Bone Helm on. So if I switch back to the Bone Helm, uh, the creatures will eventually, and here we can see, they're relatively okay with me, right? So that's the difference between the Nightmare Amulet and the Bone Helm. As you can see, when you're wearing the Nightmare Amulet, they will attack you. When you're wearing the Bone Helm, not so much. But when you take either of them off, your sanity immediately goes back to the way it was before you put them on. So they're great ways to instantly go insane. Now, the Nightmare Amulet is relatively easy to craft, of course. Through the Magic tab, it requires um, a Shadow Manipulator. But as you can see, it requires six gold, four nightmare fuel, and two purple gems. Now, you might think this is a bit high of a cost, but if you're smart about how you use it, you should be able to use it to get a lot more in nightmare fuel 
than you ever spent to make it. The third method here of going insane very quickly is going to be the green cap. Now, we're all familiar with green caps. They're, they work great for restoring sanity, probably one of the best, right? Uh, but it also can make you very insane, and you only need to eat four of them if you're Wilson, a standard sanity character. So we're at 200 sanity right now, and eating these 50 a shot, we're insane after four. Now it's very, very fast, and we're insane now, of course, which means uh, the sanity gates will go down, uh, nightmare creatures will spawn, and we'll be able to get beard hair, much like with the other uh, the other two options. Uh, that is one thing I should point out, of course, is the fact that with the nightmare amulet, if you're playing single player Don't Starve Together, it will not actually lower the sanity gates, but in Don't Starve Together it does, so that's just one of those little odd quirks between uh, versions of the game. Also, when you're insane like this, uh, shadow creatures spawn much less frequently. You might be noticing here that I've been insane for quite a bit of time, uh, compared to the amount of time I spent on these other two items, the bone helm and the nightmare amulet, uh, but I'm still not seeing any shadow creatures around anywhere so you're it's a lot more lenient because obviously it's not easy to instantly get out of this state they're not going to surround you immediately with nightmare creatures that kill you let's move on to glomer's goop so uh, glomer's goop can actually be eaten i don't know if you knew this but it is edible indeed it restores a good bit of health about 40 if i recall correctly but at the same time it requires quite a bit of sanity as well so we're back up at around about 200 sanity and you'll notice when eating this stuff i'm on, i'm going to heal as well as reduce my sanity so after eating four of those much like with the green mushrooms i'm completely insane now this time we actually did get a crawling horror here um but that is that's more of the exception and obviously it has nothing to do with uh, the type of food that I ate. That does not determine the rate at which these spawn in. And the same rules and conditions apply to Glomber's Goop as it did to the Green Cap. Okay, the last of the five that I want to mention here might surprise you a little bit as well. It is the Lazy Deserter. Yes, I know. You might be thinking, how can you go insane quickly with this? Well, each time you touch this, you lose a total of 15 sanity. So if you touch it rapidly, you're going to lose a lot of sanity. Let's try this once. See my sanity going down? I know this takes a little bit longer, but it's free. You, it literally costs you nothing aside from building the uh, lazy deserter. So there we are. We're down to zero. And, you know, providing you have one of these lazy deserters built, it's really simple, right? There's a rabbit that came out. Um, we could go ahead and capture that and get some, some beard hair if we're lucky. Otherwise, here we go. Shadow creature farming. Just like that. Uh, it should be noted, of course, that whoever actually teleports with the lazy deserter uh they're gonna go insane a lot faster they lose 50 sanity per teleportation so if you have a friend to do this with you can both go insane in a record amount of time almost uh, the the green mushrooms and uh, the glamour scoop and the bone helm the nightmare amulet are all still faster but this is essentially free forever unlike for example the uh the green mushrooms or glamour scoop those are kind of expensive to use every time you want to go insane and in addition to that <clears throat> Unlike the uh, Bone Helm, uh, this this is legitimate sa insanity. Uh, this isn't an influenced state of insanity, it is full insanity. So this this is like the costless way to go legitimately insane. And uh, I think it works pretty well. So those are the five fastest ways to go insane in Don't Starve Together. Uh, once again, this does apply to Don't Starve Together and not the single player version of the game. So I hope you learned something from that or at least found it interesting. Uh, otherwise, thank you very much for watching as always and I hope to see you next time.